Hello my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little chickens. How are you today? Well, I hope everything with you is copacetic. Yes, I do. And we have something that we're going to do today. Again, it's numerology and it has to do not exactly with DJ DC. DC Young Fly. Thank you. Can't remember that man. Please forgive me. <laughs> DC Young Fly. Um, it kind of, but mainly today, I just want to do a reading on Azalea Banks. And I want to run numbers on her because A, I want to know is she a practicing witch? Mm -hmm. And I want to know did she really have anything to do with that death? Yes. According to numerology, it says, it looks like it. It looks <laughs> like it all the way down to her birthday, all the way down. But again, everything I say is allegedly. And like I said, they said numbers don't lie. Do they? Well, what are the, what are the chances? There is no hocus pocus. There is no way you can make it up. So, baby crone, start crunching. Oh, before I do that, let me give you a little insight about a little bit about Azalea, the religion that she was in. Brijara, Bajira? Brugeria. Bajiria. Bajira. That's what I'm going to say it, and you calling it? Brugeria. Okay. But what it is, what it is, it's a form of witchcraft. And it's popular among Latin Americans. It's an indigenous religion. And um, it's, it's about, it's with Catholicism or Catholicism and European, witch, European witchcraft. That's what it is about. So, in one sense, because it's, Christ, it, it's, it is Christian religion because it's Catholicism. So, I think it's some form of witchcraft. And like anything, do you use it for good or do you do it for bad? And... For a cause. So all this about DJ Fly, this is supposed to have happened because she got yes. insulted. And in the back, in the back, she was incensed and enraged. And so I believe five years ago, mm -hmm. as it comes with the day, remember a number five. Mm -hmm. So it, five years ago is when this took place. Yes. Am I correct? Back in 2000 and... Uh, Baby Crone is sleeping. You need yes. to find that before you read it. Um, um, it happened five years ago, and um, five years to go of today, this is what happened. So, I leave you with this before I do my conclusions. It was in 2018. Okay. I leave you with this. If she's not a witch, or she knows something we don't know, or she knows something that I don't know, do you know? Um, the numbers might know. You don't know why she does no, what she no. does, but I know one thing. She won numbers. Oh, yes. And she know. So, did she do this five years ago when she was incensed? Because she said she moved on since then. Mm -hmm. But it brought her back to whatever she did yes. back then. And, like they say, all it takes is an intention. Uh, no, a strong, a strong. Because they intention. said she was all right. So yes. in that back five years ago, could she had a curse them to the core or anybody, whatever. Mm -hmm. And if so, you may say a curse can't fall on somebody. Or yes, it can if that person have a gap on opening and tangled up with that other person. Mm -hmm. You're right. Oh yes, energy flows. Yeah. Energy doesn't stand still. So did she or did she not? So baby Cone, are you ready to really take us on a journey with these numbers? Yes, I am. All right, baby Cone, let's get started. Baby Cone is going to do the numerology part of it. Yes, so first off, we're going to start with five, since that's what brought us here to the situation of possibly <clears throat> um, a spell being put on. A spell being cast. A, cast. a conjuring. Not a conjuring, but... Um, not conjuring. Something? Go, no, I go, it'll come okay. back to me. Well, five years ago, when um, Azalea Banks was on Wilding Out, mm -hmm. she could have possibly put a curse on DC Young Fly. Could have. And five years later... And forgot about it. Sorry, yes. baby girl. And then, because that's what she said. She had moved on. 
in her letter that in that text that she wrote. Yes. Mm. However, here we are five years later, and when her thirty second birthday, Azalea Banks was born May 31st. However, on May 31st of this year, Jack, Miss Jackie O had died at 32 years old. And together, that adds up to a five. And it's only single digits in the Mirage. Yes. Mm -hmm. So therefore, both of the females were fought. Were, and don't forget 32. Yep, were at the number five. And this spell just happened to work five years later. On five on the number three and two. Yes. Which is the three is significant also. Yes. Oh my God. Thank you, Lady Crow. <clears throat> because when you add up Azalea Banks, first and last name, together that adds up to a three. That's very interesting. She's got a holy trinity going on within her. Well, a, a trinity. A power trin like the tri the like the um the um the the pentacle. Yes, the triangle. pentacle has a triangle. They triangles. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they are the most stablest shape mm -hmm. and the foundation. Now, interestingly enough, because Azalea Banks practices witchcraft. Which I told you is? Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. And when you add up witchcraft, that adds up to a three in numerology. There's our second three. And here we come along with our third three. With the type of witchcraft Azalea Banks just happens to practice is Bulgaria, which also adds up to a three. But interestingly enough, this is this is we get four threes here. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of bipolar working out to add into the numbers of threes, because Azalea Banks has been diagnosed with okay. bipolar. Or some kind mm -hmm. of mental sickness. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, paranoia showed up strong. Yes. As a three. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we're, Azalea Banks resonates with the energy three. So how many threes we have so far? Four threes. Okay. Yes. And what I... Um, which is a foundation. Yes, which is a foundation. And a nine. Yes, and a nine, mm -hmm. which is a starting of the go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And also when Azalea Banks had came out and said that she practiced witchcraft, yep. which was back in December 30th of 2016. Yes, in 2016. That did not add up to a three, but it added up to a six. And a six is two threes. And interestingly enough, when she had came out at that time about practicing witchcraft, she said that she has been practicing it for three years prior. And three years prior would make 2013. And that added up to a six. So therefore, she happens to work whenever there's a three energy, whether it's a three, a six, a nine. And that is the, like the holy trinity, like the triangle, yes. the flow of life, the whole, the gaping, the matrix. Yes. So that is what we have found out about Azalea Banks in numerology and the significant numbers that we would like you guys to take notice. I think I said something in the in the room about when I left out that I think you forgot to mention. And I don't remember what it was. Was it a was it about the five years ago at Walden now? Yeah, I think it was Yeah, that. I, I started off with that. Oh, okay. So and even five years ago that's when she was at five wilding out. Yes. So there we have it. So we have in the... And also just to say, when she was on wilding out five years ago, let's just see how old she was then. So she is 32 right now, minus five. She, was she would have been 27 at that time, mm -hmm. which adds up to a nine. Mm -hmm. so, so, when she, she, yep, so when she was feeling that energy, like right. she said, she was just... She had grown past it. That she had just as a nine, and a nine mm -hmm. is new beginning. So, like she said, she's grown past it. But, however, in her rage, it it begs my attention. Did she cast the spell in her rage and forgot about it? And could it been that that this relationship was teeter tottering, yes. and maybe? Maybe, according to him, maybe he wanted to break up with her. Maybe he wanted to 
break up with it but didn't know how. Right. I, I don't know. I'm just assuming. This is, has way no value. Right, just finding. And for whatever reason, it was able to take root. Yes. Maybe it took five years to materialize. However, I really don't know how this worked. No. But you explained it to me. You're going to put the chart up so that yes. you definitely see it. So with this numerology, I hope you understand it. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to read the cards on Azalea Banks. And what I want to know is, well... Love. Well, it's clear she practiced witchcraft. Yes, do not mess with her, like I she said. I don't think that you should mess with her or take a joke or laugh at things you don't understand. This woman has been into it with anyone. Beyonce, no one is off limits. No. So, and not only that, she's a Gemini. Yes. So you're dealing with two parts of her. She's air. And there is the calm and the sweet and the gentle side of her. And then there is the other side that is the hurricane, the tidal wave, the, the massive flood that, that, that whip you up, the, the tornado. So she, you never know where she's going to be. But I would not want to be in her wake when she goes off. Because clearly this woman knows something that we don't know. And, and last, this woman was destined for greatness, okay? But she declined, just like Kanye. Mm -hmm. She declined it. You know, she could be up there, but she didn't want to play the game. She said she couldn't play the game. And this is where she's at today. And there is something to be said for people like that. And at the end of her message that she led to, could you read the end of the letter before yes. I read cards? Yes, it was interesting about her being a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Is maybe that's her natural energy of a three because the Gemini is it's the a third three. zodiac. See, sign. it's a three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here Azalea Banks said, and ironically, dead at 32, exactly on my 32nd birthday, May 31st, 2023, Five. in Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. You ninjas are going to learn to stop effing with me. What else? And that's it? Yeah. Yep, that was it. And that's it. What do you say to that? So with that being Message said... Message heard and received. I'm going to lay a card out. But because she's such a, a queen, a, a bad tale, yeah. I'm going to lay her out as a queen of swords. Okay. I mean, if you bold enough to say... There's the queen of swords. Thank you. If you bold enough to say, I put a spell on you, does she say it? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. If you bold enough to say that, mm -hmm. then... And rejoice that it was on your birthday. I'm telling you, don't mess with people like that. Don't assume that they don't know. This woman knows numerology. Mm -hmm. This woman knows something. She, just saying, I'm just saying, be careful. Be careful. Okay, so here I picked out a sword. Yes. Queen of sword, meaning queen, queen of the air, means she's mental, meaning that she's about thought. She thinks, yes. she plots, she, she plans. And God knows, you see these bellowing clouds. Yes. Don't get a mad. Don't get a poof. Because she okay. is the queen of the air. Okay? And here we have the we have the star. So look at that. So we have the star. So that star, we're just gonna look at it for now as hope. Hope what? Hope after a storm or hope during a storm. Hope comes, you need hope when you're going through something. Yes. You understand? So she's going through something right now. So let's go to find out what is going on with her. And does she still practice, which we'll ask that clearly. Okay. But the but it does look like if she came up there counting that, yeah. Yeah. This is the same woman that had all this blood in her closet. Yeah. This is the woman that dug up her cat. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna play with this? Don't it mess says with she that woman. Sacrifices chickens. Don't mess with that. And it ain't about I'm scared of her. It's not about that. It's not about she got me. No, it's not about. Ooh, it's about respect. 
If you don't know what you're dealing with, leave that alone. Yes. That's what she's saying. You don't know who you effing with, and you don't know no. who you effing with. There are people that work in the arts, and that can destroy you, believe it or not. You don't have to believe it. It's okay. Just like you don't have to believe in Illuminati. That's you don't true. have to believe in secret society. You don't have to believe in Balfour You don't even have to believe in aliens. You don't have to believe in anything. But you know what? Just because you don't believe don't mean it's not real. You don't have to believe in ghosts. You don't have to believe in hauntings. You don't have to believe in speaking in tongues. You don't have to believe in Jesus. You don't have to believe in nothing you don't want to believe in. That's true. But it doesn't mean it's not real. So... Lovers, so I'm going to run three because I like to do them quick. So here we have lovers, we have pentacles, and we have, ooh, justice. She has a lot going on. Secondly, let's do it again. We have a ten, we have a two, and we have a four. Four. Let me take a look at it. Let me use these because they're going to slide. Oh, let me just get over here. Let me turn my cards around. I can't get in your way here. Okay. So let me take a look at it. So what I see, I see two major arcanas. No, three. Two, three. Okay. Well, what I see here in this, I see... A queen that has gone through some really rough times. A queen. Very in her head. Can pop off at a dime. Very sensitive. But also there is something loving and very sweet about her all at the same time. But that's one of the perks of being a Gemini. That is true. Also, I see a star. A star comes after you done gone through a hard time, after you done gone through the worst, a star comes up and show hope. So she done gone through something. So here I see the lovers. So what it has shown me here is she has been deceived. She has um, probably not just, well, since this is a love card, she probably has put her love in something. Or maybe this, this is about her being a witch. So maybe she... Is maybe it didn't fulfill the way she wanted to feel because she doesn't talk about it anymore. Maybe it proved to not be lucrative enough for her or whatever. Or it proved to be... Go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to oh, say nothing. Or it proved to be where there is a price to pay. Okay. Here we also see whatever this is, whatever her faith, because this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing, is she a witch? So we see here, whatever her practice is, it done took her to some dark times. Here we see another two that she's looking out. Maybe she regrets it. Maybe she still practices it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she should practice it or maybe she's mellow with it. Whatever. You know what I mean? Maybe she done mellowed out with it. Because whenever you see a two, and I see this two, this is not only a two, this is a two of wands. So this lets me know that she's contemplating. She thinks about it. So if she is practicing, she knows exactly what she's doing. She's very skilled at it by now. Yes, at this time, definitely. at this time, she's skilled. At this time, she's not going to react. She might, this also could mean she can come off as a very sweet and lovable person. But behind closed doors, she's a witch. Literally. So, it could mean that. And also, like I said, here is justice. And justice is maybe she paid for what she's done. Maybe, maybe, we don't know. But at the end of this... We see a four of a foundation, and we see some kind of celebration. Let's go in and let's see what this means. First of all, I want to know, with this lovers, I want to know, with this lover card, how much of a witch she is, right? So, I got my answer right there. 
So here, what I see, I see the high priestess, which is dealing with the moon, the seven, the um, the seven phases of a moon, and the move had twenty-eight cycles. Am I right, baby? Twenty-eight days. Twenty-eight days. I'm sorry, twenty-eight day cycle. So yes, we see that there is some darkness. There are some things that go on with her. Yes, we also see she's very protective and she is paranoid. That's a lot of it. She may see things whenever she get whatever she gets in her mind. That's what she's going to do. That's what she's going to act on. Here, I see a pentacle. That has to deal with money. Let's see. Is she struggling? Oh, let me turn these over. Oh, love <laughs> showed up again. So, let me see. Does that mean she's struggling with money? Let's see. Yes, it shows that she suffered great loss over something she loved. That was her penalty to pay for all the things that she has done, the things that she said out of her mouth. She's paying a price. So, yes, I do see, yes, I see lovers. I see that she has been deceived. But the one thing that deceived her, she deceived herself. But is she broke? No, she is not broke. She's still making money, but not as she was before. Like, you see this. She still got a vision. She still have a plan. She's still making money. She's still going to do her, but not like the super mega star that she was set out to be. But that's what she didn't want. And here I see justice. So let me ask for justice. Justice is a what? Something she did in her past. Something that she tried to let go of. Something she tried to move on. And here she must have been dealing in something because in that in this here, I also see the seven deadly sins. So she has definitely been into some things, okay? Also with this, we got three major aquana. So this is a very, very dark woman because she deals with one foot on the on the earth and one foot in water and she deals with emotions and she 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 plays with her emotions her equilibrium she plays with yours anybody that get in she knows the elixir the elixir to get what she wants she is not nothing to play with at this point you know and i guess to say to know is the lover because it is a christian faith Yes. mixed with this. Mm -hmm. So she's not a total bad person. We also see that she set up, she sits up at night at least. What this what whatever her karma was, she paid big for it. Mm -hmm. So for her to come out and say what she said, that was a shout to say, I forgot that's what she was pretty much I got out of it. I wasn't even thinking about it, but the irony is it came to pass. No, you get it through her is what she was saying. So we don't know what she put on there. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Um, also, we see at the end, she's balancing. I, I think that maybe you'll hear a little bit more of her. She's always going to come in and out, in and yes. out. She's about her business. You know, she got dreams. She wanted, but she know that people think of her as... Um, um, uh, maybe not stable or okay. maybe a little, um, I want to use a right word, uh, you were definitely paranoid. Um, but, but people don't want to probably deal with her like that because of the balance. Her unreliable. Unreliable personality. Yes. Right, because she seemed like the type that will pop off, walk off a job. I'm not doing it. I'm not saying she will do it. I'm saying she won't. However, I do see a four, and I think right now she's striving for a balance. I think she's really striving for that place where she can find her peace. Um, I'd like to know... Um, is she in a relationship? I, I always like to know. If she is in a relationship, she's in a relationship with someone, my mind point to a Caucasian persuasion, but I don't know <laughs> if that's true. But if that is true, that would be mind-blowing because that would pop through my mind. But it is somebody that would be very gentle, loving, patient, understanding, somebody who is financially secure, and somebody who is control who has control of their emotions and that don't allow her to swallow them in and this is something that what is she she's an air so yes. air and water are they enemies they're neutral they're neutral so they could get along 
So with that being said, I think that's a good read. As yes. she look out on her future, did you like that? Yes, As I she did. look out on her future, yes, I do see someone in her life. I, I want to ask another question. I want to know, will she ever get married? I, I don't know. Here again, I see another king. And I'm going to have to say what I see. If she would get married, it would be he would have to have a lot of money. Oh. That's what the cards are saying. And even though if it was somebody with a lot of money, he would come with some darkness, but it would be what she would thrive on. So I hope that was good. Yes. I was wanted it? you to count up the cards. Okay. Did you have a, I didn't ask you, did you have to have one question you want to know before we close out? Um, no? No, because the one question I wanted to know was, was she a witch? Yeah. The yeah. cause saying that, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. this was like her newfound fulfillment and inspiration. Like, oh my God, it actually was. Yeah, maybe it actually happened. I waited a long time. But that's not what she said. She said that she moved on. Right. But when this happened, she couldn't have if she sat down and wrote all this out. That's mind-boggling, people. It is. Mind-boggling. So the tarot says, yes, she still practiced. Yes, she's high-powerful in it. She's more stronger than what she was five years ago. And maybe that's why she doesn't talk about it, because it could be a little intimidating. And maybe it, it's messing with her career. And clearly, oh, speaking of her career, I want to know, is her career, how is her career going? Financially, it's good, you know. She's still going to be herself. She's selective, you know. She's selective and everything. But she's still making money. This girl is still making money. She's still making money. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, so she's making money, you know. She's doing it. She don't care what nobody says. She's going to do her own thing. And she's making money. She's making money. Like I said, you don't see the 10 or anything. Right. But you do see, you did see the... um. The Knight. The Knight of Pentacles, and you did see the Four of Pentacles. And you know Four runs in this. So, Baby Crone, we're going to write it up. I did have one question. Okay. Though. Did Great. she find peace in her witchcraft? Oh, that's a good question. She finds strength in it. Oh. She finds strength in her. She finds the strength. It gives her strength she needs to quiet herself. Her inner peace. With it, she find peace. Wow. I hope that you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was good. Was it? Yes. Wow. So, I'm going to close this out by flattening that over because <laughs> yes. I feel like digging in some more. But um, We did want to count up the cards. Yes. How many minutes was that? Baby? 27. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to have to put the cards aside because you know I doubled them. So I only need these up here. I did six. So let me. You remember? Yes, yeah. yes I do. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you baby. Welcome. <laughs> okay. So the queen, we're not going to add. We're not going to add the star. The star come with a number. Yeah, the star comes with a number. What is the number of the star? Star oh, I know 17. the 17. Right? I know this number of the star. 17. So that would be an 8. Right? Yes. Okay. We have the lovers, which is a 6. We have the knight, which we give no number. We have justice, which would be 8. Okay. Because I switched it. We have, the, we have a 10, which would be a 1. We have a 4. And we have... No, I'm sorry. We have a 4, yes, and a 2. And add up those numbers and see where we at, where she at in her life with all this. Mm. Adds up to an 11, which is a 2. Which is a 2. Also, that lets me know right now she's getting ready to go through some kind of metamorphosis. She's at a very, um, uh, 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 what is it, a spiritual number? I don't want to say yeah, spiritual uh, number. Well, I mean, the high priestess came out earlier. The too. high priestess came out earlier, too. But it lets me know that the number 11 is a, what kind of oh, number? Oh, a gateway. It's a gateway number, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a gateway number. So right now, even though it's a 2, it's still a gateway. So that let me know that she's getting ready to go through something again. I hope it's all good. I don't know what it is. But it is a two. It lets me know 
and doing all of her reading, it looks like she's ready for another change. Yes. She's ready. And um, so, yes, I definitely see a gateway. And I definitely see that that is a, a sacred number, which is the 11. Yes. And I definitely see that there is something going on. And on top of that, you know, that, that, that that's a sacred number. It's 11, which is the 11 equals the 2, which is the high priestess. priestess. So there is some darkness, but there is some light. And that darkness that she's getting ready to go through. And so, the strength card came out. And which the strength is the card, card, which is 11. That let me know she's definitely going through. The strength card is the Absolutely. So she's definitely getting ready to go through. And she needs some strength to go yes. through it. But this is going to be a trying of her faith. And a yes. trying of who she is as a person. Mm -hmm. And most of all, she'll find out who she is this time. Oh. As she go through, she's going to be more clear in who she is what she want to be, clearly, she's getting ready to go through something. So I wish it nothing but good. Yes. Because we don't know what lies on the other side, and I don't want to know. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I know I really, really, really did. Mm -hmm. Baby Cole, I so enjoy you putting up those numbers. It makes Thank so you. much sense. Please yes. show it to the folks. They really like it. We thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back because we're going to talk about Atlanta. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And I hope you enjoyed this. If so, thumb us up. Right? Yes. Thumb us up. Anything else you want to say? Comment. Always Please. leave a comment. Share your Please. opinion. They mean so much. And yes. thumb us up. And if subscribe. you already subscribed. Then thumb us up. Yes. Please, if you like this, please. If you want more of this, let us know. Mm -hmm. Please. So we're here to try to give you what we think you will enjoy. Yes. To make your listening time with us enjoyable. enjoyable. So with that being said, we thank you so much for joining us here at the Crohn's Treasure Chest. Yes. Numerology and Tarot. Sunflowers.